Hi everyone, Marion Espresso Press Design. Thank you for visiting. Today we're going to do a mini book, but first a little show and tell and housekeeping. Thank you to my customers for their kind reviews, and I know I'm probably going to butcher your name. Era Chelli. I'm giving you an Italian C, although it might be Araceli, Araceli, I'm not sure, but thank you so much for mentioning my videos in your review and purchasing the products that you liked. You have been so supportive ever since you found my site. I appreciate it so much words can't even say <laughs> um, it it's uplifting when um, you know sometimes you don't get the kindest comments on my videos in particular but um, when you see the people that are uplifting they make up for all of it and thank you Marcy as well I'm glad you liked your product um, Keep Nina Rabina in your thoughts and prayers from Mixed Media Emporium. She recently announced that she's got diagnosed with cancer. It's <clears throat> according to her, it's curable, so that's good news. But she has been having a hard time keeping up as one could expect so just keep her in your thoughts and prayers that's a group i belong to and i haven't been able to post since the um, craft show but i hope to get back to it eventually here and i wanted to mention if you bought on shopify don't worry if you need a link to your product that might not be shown anymore Everything is still archived and just shoot me a contact on there or an email and uh, I'll resend you the link if you need it. So, a little show and tell. I'm busy. Oh, I'm purging big time. Like last week, went through my Christmas stuff. Two trash bags full. I'm just purging. But I was happy to be back to cards. Happy to be back to my normal routine of just having fun and minimal pressure. I made a couple little cards. This one is for the kind craft mate at the craft show who gave me um, all these gorgeous little die cuts and this one is to a friend who moved uh, I would probably compose this differently it was just an idea I saw and decided to try it and things are a little out of proportion but I'm keeping it anyway and it looks like that little spot needs some glue but I'm just happy to be back I decided not to do the um, lino cut bow lino cut today because my folder just arrived about 15 minutes ago and I knew it would so I just sat down and made a little book last night and this is it very simple I'm calling this a zipper zipper closure because this is string I had on my desk it's too it drove me crazy trying to make a bow or a tie or something so in the end I came up with that and it's just a simple little book I'm using up scraps and uh, I'm gonna we probably just use these for collage play. Has two little pockets. And if I take this out, 
the pocket is so, there we go, the pocket is so tight, it has to be loosened up a little bit, but very easy. Okay, so what you'll need are two 3 by 12 strips and one three and a quarter by four and a half for your cover. So as you can see, I'm just using up paper scraps that I have in my basket. And that's what I'm using. And you're going to need a scoreboard. These are so simple. And once you get it, you can make them tiny, little tiny books. You can make them larger. You can add pages once you learn how to put the pages together. So you're going to score both of these at I'll put this on the screen as well. Two, four, six, eight, ten. This is three by twelve. Score this one. Two, four, six, eight, ten. That's my husband walking around upstairs. And then, tell me I lost it already. Your cover. Might as well do this at the same time. It's three and a quarter by four and a half, and you're going to score it at two and one eighth. And two and three eighths. So you're just going to have one eighth in there. Get a tiny little spine, like so. Okay. These you're going to fold accordion style, and your first one is going to be going up. And the thing you most want to pay attention to is that the folds are even. Like so. Up. It's a little wonky. So I just want to make sure everything's even. You can fold it one way, make sure they're even, and then flip it back. Okay. Up, down. Okay, so I have two that look like this with two mountains in the center. So what you're going to do is these last two, you're going to put them together like this. And what I did is I turned them into pockets. I was thinking of trying a side pocket today, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to stick with the program. And uh,
fold that one over. And I think I use this one for a tiny notch. That way both my notches are even. So those are going to go in like that. And I guess I'll use glue. So um, let me get this here. And I'm going to try to keep my glue. Oh, why am I shaking today? some vitamins and of course it's coming out like a river I'm going to wipe that off a little bit use that Try so fast. Come on. And line those up. Okay. There's my pockets. I can get my fold situated. as evenly as I can. Okay. Then you're going to glue from here to here. Do not glue the ends. Gonna use a glue stick. Not loving this glue stick either. I haven't checked if uh and then you're gonna start um, gluing your folds. Okay, because this is long, I'm just gonna go half and half here on the table, but normally I had it spread out and did the whole thing. Whoops. There I got a gloober. Just going to glue my folds. Press those down a minute. Covers a little off. Mostly you want your back and your front straight because these are the pages you're going to glue to your cover. Okay. Um, so there you go. One, two, three, four, and two little pockets. Let's see if I can get something in there. It's 
going to be tight. Since your little pocket is less than two inches. going to have um, your little tag is going to be about one and three quarters. I made it three. One and three quarters by three. Okay, your little cover. Oh boy, I need a new blade. So your little book is going to sit in the middle of there. And your two end pages are going to be glued to your cover. So just start with one. This glue stick isn't bad, it is nice and creamy and and then push your book up to where you get your end paper kind of aligned with the seam of the uh, fold. And then once you do one, do the press in there. And then just do your other. Do not do not glue your spine to your center. It'll weaken your spine. And then just lift it up a little bit. that's off. That's way off. Oh boy. Don't rip. It's too close to the edge. It's not, what I mean is it's not centered enough. Okay. Let me do that over. Sorry. Maybe this paper is a little thinner. My spine isn't as wide as the other one. Okay, that's better. I know I drank that coffee pretty fast, but holy crap, I need some B vitamins. I did not absorb B vitamins. I practically have to OD on them to keep myself. What's the word? Non-deficient. Okay. It's still a little off, but oh well, it's a little... That page is a little crooked. I don't want to lift it again. It is what it is. Okay, and I should have rounded my corners before I started. Okay. 
Okay. There you go. There's your little book. Let me get my corner rounder. I went to a concert on Sunday. Now, this normally wouldn't be the type of concert I would go to, but this was kind of special. Um, our church, the choir director in another parish who went to Juilliard and is a pretty accomplished pianist. Uh, restored our church organ that was uh, the original was destroyed in a fire in 1909 and this particular organ was purchased in 1910 and it took him 14 years to restore this organ So it was um, quite a labor of love. And that page is a little crooked. It was quite a labor of love. And it was, um, he's still not completely finished, but it is restored back to its 1910 sound, which was unbelievable. 1,676 pipes and block, handle, ah, oh, who else, hand out, handle, you know, um, maybe some Beethoven in there, now I'm having a hard time remembering, but the sound was unbelievable. 1,676 pipes in 14 years. So my feeling was if someone is going to take that much labor of love to restore an instrument, I can go and show my appreciation for that. Um, that that type of dedication and talent. He plays four-handed compositions on the piano. He's internationally toured with, or no, he internationally studied with a famous Russian pianist. And it was unbelievable. I listened to it twice. So I thought you might like. It was just fabulous. I thought you might like my little zipper tie there. And that came about because this is was laying on my table. So I grabbed it. Since this had green in it. Grabbed some more scraps, made some little tabs. Grabbed some more scraps, made some little tags. And I can't, I really can't stand. Well, first of all, this baker's twine from Dollar Tree is ridiculously thin. So it was driving me crazy trying to tie a bow. And at first I had two little end signature embellishments on there tied at once didn't like that <laughs> this string started out at least 12 inches long and finally i said i'm just gonna make a zipper so that's what i did so that's my little zipper tie and there's your little mini book again once you get this you can 
You can add more pages in an accordion. You can make them any size. Once you figure out how to do it, you can make a mini mini. You know, one by two, one and a half by two. Cute little gifts to give to kids. Make little sticker books. Little place, put a little pocket or a belly band or something to hold your collage stuff. And these are just going to be little playbooks for me. So, there you go. Hopefully that was understandable. I wanted to show you a couple things here. Um, if you would like to learn how to make these, a couple of things I've been doing. Uh, paper clips. Business in the front, party in the back. I, I, I generally don't like hidden paper clips. I've never found a way to get them, rarely found a way to get them not lumpy. And I've tried everything. So in my humble opinion, why not just decorate the back with something different? And this is the only thing I have truly found that hides a lumpy, bumpy <laughs> hidden paper clip, and that's fabric. So if you want to learn either of those, just let me know which one, and I'll do it next time. But that's that's my feeling about paper clips. Why not just decorate the back? This one you do have to put a cigar band, otherwise it will come off. And it still can come off, but it's a lot less likely if you have your little, I call them cigar bands. So. I don't I don't necessarily see the point in hiding the back. Just just do something else with it. Okay, that's 30 minutes, guys. Um, let me know if you want those next week. I'll do them. But for now, just have fun making mini books and using up your scraps. That's what I'm going to be doing as I clear out try to clear out all these scraps from uh, the craft show. I almost did a scrap buster from Gail Agostinelli that is probably going to be a lifesaver for me, but I decided to do the little book instead. So, okay. I'll see you next time, everyone. Maybe I'll see you again this week. I'm not sure. But, um, have a great week and thanks for your time. Bye.